Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Right now we got a computer matchup as the 19th ranked Northern Colorado Bears travel to take on the 6th ranked Cal Poly Mustangs. Mustangs 6-1 and one on the season and they're riding a 5 game winning streak. They still have a shot at the national championship game. And Northern Colorado, they are outside of the national championship picture at 5-2 on the season as we take a look at the matchup here. 20th ranked offense for the Bears, 12th ranked offense for Cal Poly. You got the 6th ranked defense for the Bears and the 5th ranked defense for Cal Poly. This should be a really fun matchup. I'm not sure what's going to happen here if the defenses are going to step it up or if the offenses are going to have their way with these top 10 defenses. It's going to be really fun. Now let's go ahead and share this in the Discord. Make sure everybody is in here for this matchup. This is game number five today, I believe. So again, hope you have your snacks. Uh, slap that like button, subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason for this series. Now, let me pull up my chat, see who we got in there right now. And we'll get this thing going, guys. Let's take a look at the Pac-10 standings quick before we do anything. It's the craziest conference in all of the FCS dynasty. And there it is. San Diego, they won today. So they're at the top. If Cal Poly wins, they'll be right there with them. Tied for first place. Northern Colorado is fifth. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they... Well, technically they still have a chance. If they win it and they get a little bit of help with San Diego losing a couple of conference games... Southern Utah and UC Davis would have to lose a couple as well. But they're they're right on the outside looking in right now. And it's really up to these top four schools for the Pac-10 title at the moment. Who we got in the chat? Tyler Rocky, Slim Chris, DeAndre Guerin, the quarterback for Cal Poly. Jay Washington, linebacker for Cal Poly. Tyler Rocky is the halfback for Northern Colorado. Does Poly play San Diego? Let's check it out right here, man. Let's do it. Take a look at Cal Poly's schedule real quick. They do. Week 12, Cal Poly hosting the San Diego Toreros. So right now, three straight computer games for the Mustangs. Let's take a look at Northern Colorado's schedule real quick. They only have one more computer game. That's against uh, Southern Utah at home. So that should be a fun one as well. All right, let's get into it. Nationally televised matchup, guys. It should be a good one. UTEP beats Towson 37-31. What a game. And they remain undefeated on the season. Oh, no. Somebody's breaking rules. Paul Baker, starting center for Cal Poly. Getting into a fight of practice is the last thing. All right, we'll give him a quarter. Sounds good. Sounds real good. And I believe... Yeah, those are the right playbooks. Okay. All right, do we want to go? Yeah, we're going to go green tops. And for northern Colorado, we're going to go blue bottoms. Let's do it. I'm ready. I've been looking forward to this one. Northern Colorado, they do quite well in these types of games. And it's going to be interesting to see DeAndre Guerin see what he can do in this game. I believe last week was his first career start in their win. First time they ever scored over 70 points, I believe, in team history. Tom Schaefer with a $2 super chat. Appreciate you, Tom. You owe me this? Why do you owe me that? You don't owe me anything, Tom. All right, here we go. Bears kicking it off to the Mustangs, and as always, oh, pop that Arnold Palmer. What's going on? Let's do it. Sophomore kicker Johnny Ligurski boots it deep. The Mustangs will be on offense first. On the return is Malik Higgins, and he's dropped up past the 20-yard line. Let's take a look at that offense led by DeAndre Guerin, freshman quarterback. He's backed up by Alexander Connor now, who lost his starting job. The backfield, Raul Lozano the third, and Kanji Jones. Receiving core is Malik Higgins 
Desmond Lewis and Dakota Edwards. We'll go over the rest of the offense here in a moment with Garen in the shotgun for the Mustangs. And he'll look to throw it. First play of the game. He set up the screen. That's Desmond Lewis. And he's brought down by Deacon Cooper. Rest of the offense. Long snapper and tight end. Tom Schaefer. Another tight end. Tyler Chandler. And at left guard, the All-American Dan Williamson. All right, Garen under center, looking to throw it. Right side, caught by Lozano, dropped at the 31-yard line. Let's take a look at the defense for the Bears. Jack Marius, Tech there, tracks, is injured. I believe uh, Angel Hernandez is also injured. So we're back to square one for the Bears. They just have Deacon Cooper and Bully Cooper as the safeties. And that's it. And they will hand it off, and that is a nice stop. For the Northern Colorado defense. Fourth and four upcoming. Huge play for the Bear defense. That is just fantastic. If you're a Bears fan. That pop needs a sponsor. That was a nice pop too, wasn't it? Back to return the punt, I believe, is Tyler Rocky. And he's got it. And he's got a few yards. It's going to come back for clipping. Fantastic. Take a look at Northern Colorado's offense. They are led by sophomore quarterback Aiden Davis. He's backed up by Darrell Stats. In the backfield, we got Eric Tavares, who also plays some tight end and receiver. He's all over the field. Darius Mitchell, double stack Rivers, Jada Streets, and Tyler Rocky. And at fullback is Gavin Brady. Over the rest of the offense after this play as they hand it off. Jada Streets is going to lose a yard on his first carry of the game. Rest of the offense, Howard Bresnagale and FCS Discord player uh, Darren Van Baren. He is leading all Discord members and YouTube subscriber players in receiving yards this season. Smokey Callahan is at tight end. With Davis in the shotgun, second and 11. Direct snap, Miles Dawkins. Tyler Rocky is going to lose a yard. Mike Heath is at left tackle, Will Jefferson at right tackle, and Sebastian Hernandez is the center for the Bears offense. They are all All-Americans. Davis looking to throw, and that is caught wide open for the first down is Howard Bresnagel. You love to see it. Get a safety and you'll give him $10 because Cal Poly is amazing. I don't know if we'll see a safety here tonight. High snap for Davis. They have the option. He's going to fumble the football. And I believe it's recovered by Cal Poly. And it is. That is Greg Ford, the defensive tackle. Thomas, a bad snap. You'll donate five because it'll make you laugh. So hurtful. <laughs> that was Jay Washington on the forced fumble. Right. Mustangs in great field position at the UNC 36 yard line. Garen in the shotgun. Lozano to his left. And they're going to go direct snap. Miles Dawkins is out here calling the place for both teams. And Lozano gets it up to the 29 yard line pickup of seven. If you're watching, I love you, Miles. <laughs> I kid, I kid. All right, second and three. Garen under center. And he will go play action. Garen is pressured. He takes off. And DeAndre Garen picks up the first down using his feet. One of the big reasons why he took over the starting job. He just adds that extra dimension to the offense that Alexander Connor just didn't have. Big Geo in the chat. What's up, brother? Garen calling a hot route. And he'll hand it off to Lozano, who somehow escapes through the secondary and gets nine yards before getting absolutely destroyed by Bully Cooper at the 14-yard line. I don't know how he squeezed through the, the front seven right there. But it was great. 
It was really great. Garen under center. Watch out for the Mustangs fullback. He is a beast. He's, I think he's faster than Lozano, actually. There he is. There's the fullback right up the middle, and he is stopped by the referee. He should have had the touchdown. That is extremely unfortunate for Allen. <laughs> the Bears have the 12th man out there, the referee getting in his way. First and goal, and four wide receivers set for Garen. And he will hand it off, and Lozano's going to be dropped for a loss of four. That is unfortunate. Second to goal from the seven now for the number 16 in the land. How do we only have six viewers for this game? That is just unfortunate. Direct snap. Lozano is going to be dropped at the three-yard line. I don't know what's with the direct snaps in this game so far, but that is the third one. Third and goal from the three. Garen under center. This is goal line set. See if they'll go play action. And they're going to hand it off. No, it is play action. Garen wide open. Touchdown. Tyler Chandler. The Mustangs strike first. Beautiful play. And he was just all on an island by himself. Man, oh man. Almost took the entire first quarter, but we see our first points of the game. Mustangs make it 7 0 here in San Luis Obispo, California. Perfect night for football. Not a cloud in the sky. Nothing but stars. Darren Van Baren in the chat. What's up, brother? How's our evening going? I mean, mine's okay. How you doing, man? Darius Mitchell set to return the kickoff. I believe Jada Streets is back there as well. And here is Darius Mitchell, the senior halfback. Gets it up past the 25-yard line. Good return. He's got 700 total yards on the season with six touchdowns. Not bad. He has a huge issue with fumbles, though. All right, let's go over the Cal Poly defense since we didn't have a chance last time. Demarius Lamache at DN. Greg Ford and Paxton Erdley are on the interior line. Jay Washington at outside linebacker. Joseph Lozano at corner. And Ralph William at the free safety spot. That's picked off. And the Mustangs have it going back the other way for the pick six. Mustangs with a two-score lead. Oh, baby, Patterson. Let's go. 29-yard pick six. Crowd going wild. My goodness gracious. What a turn of events. Two touchdowns in about 10 seconds for Cal Powell. And it is 14 to nothing in the first quarter. At least we got to go over the defense that time, you know? Seriously, I think my chair is just going to break right now. You guys hear this? It's terrible. And I believe they kick it off to Darius Mitchell yet again. Yes, they do from his four-yard line. Darius Mitchell up the left sideline. Darius Mitchell explodes down the sideline. And all the way inside the 35. What a return from the senior. That is a play that they desperately needed. Wow. Wow. All the way to the 32. Let's see how Aiden Davis, the sophomore quarterback, responds 
after throwing that touchdown the other way. They're going to hand it off. That's double stack. Rivers runs a man smooth over and picks up four yards. I believe that was Jay Washington who got the truck stick. Get a new chair. Listen, Tyler, if you want to buy me a new chair, I'm all for it, buddy. I ain't got money for that, man. I'm poor. Second down and seven for the Bears from the 29. Option play from Davis. He'll pitch it out late and double stack Rivers hurdles and gets the first down. And Aiden Davis has injured his chest on the play. So we will see junior quarterback Darrell Stats under center. Hopefully Davis can return. Stats is a great runner. He's never been known for, you know, for being a great passer. The Bears are number one in the country in red zone scoring 100% on the season. And they're at the 17 yard line. High snap for, for Stats. And he's going to throw it right side. Caught! And that's Howard Bresnagale. And he is in for the touchdown. The Bears close the gap. Comes in and throws a touchdown on his first pass of the game. Wow. Got ourselves a ball game, folks. Chair's about to pop like an arm of Palmer. Yes, sir. Ligurski on for the extra point. And it is good. It's 14 to 7. Very quick touchdown after the Darius Mitchell kick return all the way to the 32 yard line. A couple runs by Double Stack Rivers. Aiden Davis goes down. Who knows how long he'll be out for. But Darrell Stats comes in. The junior quarterback comes in and throws a touchdown. Just a dime on his first play of the game. Hammer Jammer with a super chat and goes to <laughs> get Klein a new chair fun. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I could bring up like a dining room table or a dining room chair, you know, if I wanted to. But that's, so, that's so much work. Desmond Lewis kneels down in the end zone. I appreciate you, Hammer. The whole five bucks because you're also broke. It happens, man. It happens to the best of us. DeAndre Guerin under center. Two tight end set for the Mustangs. And they will go play action. Spend their bread and butter. That's a nice catch from Malik Higgins all the way to the 39 yard line. Guerin throwing some dimes out here. Aren't we all? I th yeah, I mean, most people are. A lot of people are broke. Although, guys, you know, big news. I get my first paycheck from YouTube. It's like 150 bucks. That was a great throw, but Tom Schaefer was just a little too slow for that one. Three seconds left in the first quarter now. But yeah, YouTube does not pay too much. To actually earn a lot of money, you got to get some sponsors, some real sponsors. And here is Garen. Oh, the fullback. He left his hands at home. That's going to end the first quarter. Mustangs on top, 14-7 to over the Northern Colorado Bears in Pac-10 play. Buy a can of WD-40. I like it. Here's Garen trying to take off. He is going to be sacked by Simpson. His fourth on the season. That'll bring up fourth down and 12. And the Bears, they got some momentum now. Crowd not happy with that play. But at least the freshman didn't turn it over. Took the safe play. Just went down for a, a small loss on the sack. Instead of forcing a pass downfield. Mustangs booting it away. Tom Schaefer with a perfect snap, as always. Here's Tyler Rocky from his own 15-yard line, breaking a tackle, but he meets Jay Washington at the 28. All right, let's 
Let's see what the Bears can do. Aiden Davis is back in for Northern Colorado, so that's good news. Their quarterback is not hurt for too much. And there is, oh my goodness, Howard Bresnigan with a great reception. And what a throw from Aiden Davis. That is Bresnigale's second or third reception already. He's not really known for catching a lot of passes. He's more of a, a run-blocking wide receiver. Regardless of how, you know, what his stature is. Three catches, 53 yards, and a touchdown. He's like a, a less athletic Steve Smith. Basically what I'm trying to say is he's nothing like Steve Smith. He's just the same size. And there's a catch for Eric Tavares. His first catch of the ball game. Pickup of seven for the halfback slash wide receiver slash tight end. He's all over the field now. Davis under center. Double stacked Rivers behind him. And the two tight ends set. And they're going to go option and Davis is dropped for a loss again. They got to be careful with these option attack plays because the last time they did it, he got hurt. That's going to bring up third down and five. From the Cal Poly 44-yard line. Davis with five wide receivers. Pressure. Throws it deep. And it's incomplete. Off of the hands of the freshman phenom, Darren Van Baren. Not too many drops on the season. Well, that's going to bring up fourth down and five. Good stop for the Mustangs. Johnny Ligurski on for the punt. He kicks and he punts. He does it all for the special teams. Mustang's going with a safe return. And this is skyrocketed. And fair caught at the 12-yard line. Pretty good punt. A little sophomore. And DeAndre Guerin will start this drive at his own 12-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Lozano right next to him. And they'll hand it off, and Lozano is going to lose a few yards. Instant pressure off the edge. That's a loss of three. Same formation. Garen looking to throw quick pass and almost picked off that was dangerous. Look at the numbers for Garen on the season. 979 yards, 11 touchdowns, 3 picks. He's been pretty good. Got his first career start last week, replacing Alexander Connor. And he played really well in that game, leading the Mustangs to the most points they've ever scored in this series. But he's in a tough spot here. Third down and 13 from his own nine. Garen pressure, throws off his back foot. And almost caught and almost picked all at the same time. And actually, Tech Third Tracks is back from injury. I had no idea. So they do have their number one corner out there. And the Mustangs going to have to punt it away. Mason is in his own end zone currently. Let's see if we have another good snap from Tom Schaefer. A little long snapper. And it's perfect. Mason gets it all the way to the 49. Here's Tyler Rocky. Breaks the tackle, and he is decapitated. And the long snapper recovers the fumble. Takeaway for the Cal Poly special teams. Unbelievable. Prayers in the chat for Tyler Rocky. He just got carried off on a gurney. Garen with another shot now. It's like that three and out never happened. Play action. Garen throws it out to Lozano. He's going to be dropped by Deacon Cooper. A loss of two. Second down and 12. Garen will be under center. I formation set. And he will look to throw it. Garen, quick pass, and that hits the foot of Tom Schaefer. It's all over the place today. Third down and 12 now. Quickly in a bad spot. Yeah. 
Garen will have to throw it here, and they're going to go play action. Garen all day to throw, and it's caught. Malik Higgins at the 35-yard line. First down, Mustangs. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. It's just, it's all beautiful. Freshman hot routing a receiver. Play action again. Garen off his back foot finds his man again. Malik Higgins down to the 21. Jimmy Fellows injured his hip on the play. That is no good. He is the number three cornerback who is playing the number two spot, filling in for Angel Hernandez. So they're already weak on that side. Garen might look to exploit that going forward. One yards in the game for Higgins. Clearly Garen's favorite target tonight. As Lozano breaks the tackle, he's still going. Gets the first down and goal. 23 yards for him on seven carries. All right, Hammer. All right, Schaefer. Take it easy, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Mustang 77% in the red zone. It's been a struggle this season, but they are improving as the season moves forward. First and go from the ninth. Garrett hands it off. That's a draw, and Lozano gets nothing. DeAndre Garrett having some internet issues. Feels bad. Bully Cooper is in the zone at strong safety. Watch out for him. Here's play action. Garen deflected away by Deacon Cooper. Dangerous throw. Mustangs 2 of 5 on third downs in the game. They're going to come out in the shotgun. Just over two minutes left in the half. Garen to throw. Garen left side incomplete. Not sure who that was intended for, but they are going to send on the field goal unit. And this will be a 27 yard attempt for Alexander. That'll make it a 10 point game. It is good. It's 17 to 7. Now Mustangs on top. Let's go. Really good game so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Darius Mitchell back to return it. He had a really good one the last time out. Returning it all the way to the Mustang 32 yard line, setting up. Northern Colorado's touchdown drive. And this looks to be kicked off to Jada Streets. And it is from the goal line. And Streets breaking a tackle. And gets it up to the 15. And there's clipping. Backing them up to their own 8-yard line now. It's not something you like to see if you're a Bears fan. Already backed up into a tough spot. Got the two-minute drill. All three timeouts. Davis under center. They're going to go option again, and he somehow gets that pitch away. The double-stack Rivers who gets the first down. That was a very dangerous play. Not sure how he got the ball out there. formation set for the Bears they're gonna go option again Davis pitches it out once again and double stack up to the 26 getting closer to 800 yards rushing for his career second down and four minute 40 left in the half and the Bears get it to start the third quarter so that's huge Lamache in the zone at DN. Smokey Callahan in the zone at tight end. Davis to throw it over the middle. Bresnigal, he is stopped. 
for no gain. That's Ralph William on the stop. Jimmy Fellows out two quarters with hip bursitis. That's the cornerback for the Bears. Third down and five. And that is Tyler Rocky in the backfield with Aiden Davis. Just over a minute left in the second. Davis to throw. And that is deflected away at the line of scrimmage by Paxton Erdley. And almost picked off by Demarius Lamache. And the Bears will be forced to punt it away with 104 left on the clock. Gursky's last punt was inside the 20-yard line. And he gets another good one here. And that is out of bounds at the 43. Smokey Callahan is out. Oh, my goodness. He hurt his shoulder on the play. Star players dropping like flies tonight. All right, 59 seconds for the freshman quarterback, DeAndre Guerin, and his offense. Got to go 57 yards for a touchdown. Out of the shotgun. Guerin to throw it. Wide open is Desmond Lewis, and he is brought down by Bully Cooper, but he got all the way to the 18-yard line of UNC. Beautiful route and an even better throw from the freshman quarterback. You love to see it. Two red zone trips in the game, one touchdown, one field goal. They got two timeouts left. Garen on the option. He can run, but he is stuffed. That was Deacon Cooper coming up in run support. These safeties are just so, so talented. They are fantastic in run support. I believe Bully Cooper has double-digit sacks on his career as well from that strong safety spot. He's a beast. Garen to throw it. Second 13. Pressured. He is destroyed. But Lozano comes down with it. A back juke and a first down. What a play after the catch. Wow. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's up, Ron? First and goal from the seven. Garen to throw. He's going to be sacked. Pressure immediately, and Garen is injured on the play. That could be a big loss for Cal Poly. Alexander Connor will come in. Let's see how long he'll be staying in the ball game. Obviously, the junior quarterback is more than capable. Smokey Callahan out for the game for the Bears. That's a big loss at the tight end spot. And here's... Alexander Connor to the end zone, deflected away by Tech Terra Tracks. That was intended for Malik Higgins. Not a very good throw. Third and goal from the 14. The Stangs, two of six on third downs. And here is play action. Connor to the end zone, and that is a drop. So a really good throw to Malik Higgins. I think he would have been short if he caught it anyway. So we're going to see another Mustang field goal try from Alexander. With 16 seconds left in the first half. Alexander, 6 of 9 on uh, field goals this season, along with 52. Which, that's, that's a pretty good distance for a college kicker. Field goal is up, and it is good. It's 20 to 7. Mustangs up by 13 points. Let's see if the Bears can get some sort of crazy play before the half is over. They do get the ball to start the third quarter. Mitchell and Jada Streets back to return it. 
This is Jada Streets from his own three-yard line. And he is dropped at the 22. There's 11 seconds left. I would just run the clock out if I was the Bears here. You don't want to risk a turnover. Garen will return in this ballgame. Just an abdominal strain. So he'll be back in the third quarter. Lamache in the zone at defensive end for the Mustangs. They're just going to hand this off to Double Stack Rivers. He's going to lose a yard. And that is the end of the first half. Mustangs on top 20-7 to at home against the Northern Colorado Bears in Pac-10 action, folks. It's been a pretty good game so far. Bears need uh, a lot of work on the offensive side of the football, though. Our next game, number 12, South Dakota State at Tennessee Tech. That's Big 12 play. Should be a fun game. That's going to be right after this stream, guys. So stick around after this and watch that one. All right. Bears set to return it. Mitchell and Streets. And this will be Mitchell. From his own two-yard line. And Mitchell up to the 21. Joseph Lozano on the stop. Aiden Davis, he went down in the last quarter. Came back. Darrell Stats is going to be in for this play, though. He does have a couple formation subs. All right, Tyler, take it easy, buddy. Direct snap again. Jada Streets is going to get a yard on the play. That's, I believe, the fourth direct snap this game. Jay Washington on the tackle. Second down and nine. Aiden Davis in there at quarterback. High formation set. Hot routing a receiver. Possibly switching in the direction of the play. They will. Double stack. Rivers is going to be stuffed. Just can't seem to get the ground game working. Chaos driven in the chat. What's up, my brother? Third down and nine. Shotgun set. Tyler Rocky is the tailback. Davis looking to throw it. And he will. And it's caught again by Howard Bresnagale. He has been on fire this game. First down, Bears. What a catch. Ralph William on the tackle. Best Sunday of the year. Your brother's birthday in seven climb games. Yes, sir. Shotgun set again for Davis. They need some points on this drive. Preferably a touchdown. They want to stick around in this game. Davis is destroyed by Ralph William on the safety blitz. What was that play call? You got a pocket passer and you go with a read option. And it got blowed all the way up. All the way, man. After this game, though, guys, I, I got to put a pizza in the oven, all right? I'm just saying. But the next game will be happening right after that. There's a fumble, and it's recovered by Greg Ford. It's the second of the game, the fourth turnover of the game for the Bears. And the Mustangs need to capitalize on this, get a touchdown on the board, and try to put this game away here in the third quarter already. My goodness. That was Demarius Lamache. On the force fumble. First down and 10. DeAndre Guerin is back in there at quarterback. Got an eye formation set. Play action. Guerin over the middle. What a catch from Des Desmond Lewis. Wow. Laid out for it at the 23 yard line. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous catch. His third of the game, he's got 57 yards as well. Two tight ends set for Garen. And he'll look to throw it again. Pressured immediately, and he is rocked. Big time play from Fuller. That's a loss of seven. Not much Garen could have done on that play. 
Second down and 17. Out of the shotgun. Garen to throw it. Pressure. Hit as he throws. And very dangerous. Deflected away. Garen, pretty good game so far. 10 of 18. 127 yards and a touchdown. No picks. But another rough spot for him. Third down and 17 from the 30. Right around the edge of field goal range for Alexander. And he'll look to throw it again. Pressured and he's sacked and they are way out of field goal range now. That was Simpson. That's his second of the game. Fifth on the season. Boy, oh boy. The Bears defense stepping up. Now, if they attempt a field goal here, that's a 55-yarder. I don't think that Alexander has the leg for that. And it looks like Mason is going to come in to punt it away. Reminds you of a more mobile Brett Favre. That's who uh, Alexander Connor reminded me of. And here is a high punt. And, oh, it goes into the end zone. They couldn't down it inside the five. So close. The Bears will start this drive at their own 20. Davis under center with two tight ends. Double stack. Rivers is the halfback. And they'll try to throw it. Davis off his back foot. Finds his man. Pick up of six yards, but it's coming back because of holding. Boy, oh boy. Team just keeps shooting themselves in the foot all game long. First down and 20 now. Out of the shotgun. See what the Bears will do. Davis. Looking to throw over the middle, and that is going to be no gain for Rivers. I don't like the play calling here. That's actually a loss of one for the halfback on the catch. Cap Ice Kicker's got six points. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's got eight. Two field goals, two extra points. So he's winning. Davis. All day to throw, and he's going to go quick pass. Oh, my goodness. He got destroyed. Pick up of five makes his uh, third down at 16 from the 14-yard line. Ralph Williams is in the zone at free safety for Cal Poly. Davis to throw it, and he's going to be hit. Finds his man, and that's going to be a pickup of one yard. So the Mustangs hold strong, and the Bears will have to punt it away yet again. They can't seem to get a whole lot of anything going on offense. Ligurski on for the punt. His last punt, I thought it was a good one, but it was only 33 yards, apparently. Let's see if he can do a little bit better this time. He does skyrocket this one from his own goal line up past the 40. That was a great punt, but Malik Higgins breaks the tackle and gets it up to the 48. Shotgun set for Garen. And a direct snap again to Lozano, who's going to pick up five yards. He's got 27 in the game. Cal Poly trying to keep their national championship hopes alive with a win here. They can't afford to lose another game. They already have one loss on the season. The Bears are on the outside looking in. They have no shot. They've already got two losses this year. Garen, play action, quick pass, left side, and they'll pick up maybe a half a yard. Go to Edwards on the reception. How's my power? Don't need it going out. I don't know, man. It was completely random last time. My whole town lost power. 
during that San Diego stream. It was really unfortunate. Third down and four. And they're going to hand it off to Lozano up the middle. He dives, and I don't think he got it. So the Bear defense comes up strong again. And the Mustangs will punt it away. Bears just need their offense to just get like a big play, try to get some sort of momentum in their favor. The defense has been keeping them in this the whole the whole game. And Mason's punt. Bear catch. Oh my goodness. Desmond Lewis catches it at the three yard line and downs it. It's a game of you know field position. And the Mustangs have been winning it all game long. They're going to hand this off. Double stack. Rivers gets a yard up the middle. He's got 33 for the game. And that might have been the final play of the third quarter. We'll see. Davis in the shotgun. And they will snap it. Davis, speed option. Jada Streets, look out. He's a speed burner. And he's got the first down of the 19. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. 20-7, to 7, Mustangs on top of the Bears. Little Mike in the chat. What's up, Mike? How you doing, man? The Bears get a touchdown here. They're back in it. But they desperately need it. Davis out of the shotgun. Four receivers set. They're going to go option again, and Davis pays the price. Joseph Lozano, the best tackling corner in the country, comes up with a big hit. Just a pickup of one yard. Again, four receivers. Lamache in the zone, and they're going to run it right towards him. And here is Jada Streets picking up three yards, and there's a face mask. So they'll catch a bit of a break here, making it second and one. I'm a effing problem. Jada Streets in the chat. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? All right, Davis under center. I formation set for UNC. They're going to keep going. Option. It's an option pass. Davis, deep shot, and almost picked off. That was not a good decision from Aiden Davis. That was rough. He should have just ran it, honestly. <laughs> that brings up third down and one. Desperately need this first down. They are two of five on third downs in this game. Gavin Brady, the fullback, is in the zone. Let's see if they hand it off to him, and they will. He's got the first down and more of the big fullback. Rumbling, fumbling, and stumbling, breaking tackles. Past the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, all the way down to the 7. What a run from Gavin Brady. A 64-yard scamper for the big fella. Just the play they needed. Oh, my goodness. Unreal. Lozano struggling to catch the big guy. Wow. First and goal for Northern Colorado. The fullback goes for 64 yards. They're still perfect in the red zone this season. Lamache is in the zone at D end. And they're going to hand it off to Jada Streets, who picks up maybe a yard. Second to go from the seven. They cannot afford to kick a field goal here. They need a touchdown. Lamache and Ralph William in the zone for the defense. And they're going to go with a halfback option here, and they're going to lose four yards. What is that play calling? Bill Stevens in the chat. What's up, Bill? Schaefer would have loved the, the fullback run. Oh, yeah. He would have absolutely loved it. Lamache is still in the zone at DN. Davis out of the shotgun. No, it's actually Darrell Stats, the junior quarterback. He's going to sling it to the end zone. He's picked off by number 48. And I believe they tackled him out of 
the end zone to the one yard line. They did. So a terrible throw from Darrell Stats. This is why he got benched in the first place. Threw it into quadruple coverage. But a heads up play by the receiver for Northern Colorado taking him out of the end zone and dropping him at the one yard line. Let's see what the defense can do. Garen out of the shotgun from his one yard line. And they'll hand it off to Lozano. He's dropped and just out of the end zone. He actually lost a yard. How, how did he lose a yard when he's already at the one? They could not go any farther backwards because that will definitely be a safety. Watch for the off-tackle run to the left side of the screen. And that's exactly what they'll do. Lozano is going to get out of the end zone and to the four-yard line. Third down and seven now. They're inching their way farther and farther away from the danger zone. The danger zone. Sorry, too much. Goal line, <laughs> goal line set for DeAndre Guerin. See if they'll keep it on the ground or if they'll go play action. Just trying to waste this clock as much as they can. And they'll actually just throw it. They'll straight up throw it. And almost picked off by Fellows. Tom Schaefer, the intended target. That stops the clock. And they'll have to punt it away from inside their own end zone. Could be dangerous. They're not going to attempt a block. So see if they can get a decent return from Tyler Rocky. And from his from the 48 yard line, Tyler Rocky gets it up to the 42. All right, there's still plenty of time. The Bears have all three timeouts left, and over three minutes left in the game. They cannot afford another turnover, though. That would definitely end the game. Eye formation set for Davis. And he will throw it. Off his back foot, finds his man, Howard Bresnagel. Another catch for him in the game. His sixth. And 86 yards and a score. No huddle. Davis hands it off to Double Stack Rivers, who gets to the outside inside the 25 yard line. Second down and four. And they are just taking their sweet old time right now. Not sure why. Five wide receiver set. Davis. To throw, man wide open, and it's almost caught off the deflection. He overthrew him, but the defender hit it right towards the receiver. That stops the clock and brings up third and four. Darrell Stats is back in at quarterback. He threw a pick on his last play. He's played two plays this game. One was a touchdown pass, and one was a pick. See what he does on third and four. High snap. Stats is going to try to take off, and he's dropped one yard gain for the junior quarterback. Fourth down and three. Now Davis back in at quarterback. They don't get it. The game is most likely over. And they will go option. Double stack. Rivers, that's a face mask. They're going to get a free first down. That was Demarius Lamache, the junior DN. And the Bears will get it up to the 11-yard line with that penalty. Bears desperately needed a break, and they got one. Threw a pick their last time in the red zone. That was their first failed attempt in the red zone this season. Davis pressured. And that is incomplete. Brings up second and ten. They need a touchdown. The sooner the better. Davis, four receivers set. Double stack Rivers to his left. And they will throw it. Davis towards the end zone. It's caught at the three-yard line. 
pickup of eight yards. That was Bresnagel once again. Third down and two. They can still get a first down without having to score. Davis, 10 of 16, 88 yards and a pick. Lamache in the zone at defensive end. Out of the goal line set. Double stack Rivers. Can't get to the outside, but does he get the first down? He does not. Fourth and inches. Will the Mustang defense hold strong? Hunter ninth in the country on third or fourth down attempts. And they will, oh my goodness. Why didn't he hand it to the fullback? Gavin Brady would have walked in for a touchdown. Instead, the Mustangs get a goal line stand and the Bears fail in the red zone two straight trips. And that is most likely going to be the end of the ball game, folks. One first down should end it. Oh my goodness, bonehead play from Davis. And here's Lozano dropped the line of scrimmage. Unbelievable. How does he not hand that off to the fullback for an easy touchdown? Patterson, player of the game for Cal Poly, he had the pick six. Bresnagel, player of the game for the Bears, seven catches, 94 yards and a touchdown. Garen out of the shotgun. Off tackle run here. For Lozano, he's dropped at the two. Oh my. They're down at 12. At the one yard line. Excuse me. Mustangs, two of 10 on third down. Most likely an off tackle run again. If they throw it, I don't know what to say. Oh my goodness, he's going to throw it. DeAndre Guerin taking a shot over the middle, and that was extremely dangerous. And now they're going to have to punt it away from their one-yard line. Boy, oh boy. Are they going to go for the punt block this time? That is the real question. And it looks like they are not. Who knows, maybe Tyler Rocky will get him a punt return for a touchdown. And that was a very good punt. All the way to the 41-yard line. Tyler Rocky dropped at the 48 of Cal Poly. Just 55 seconds left. I think it's a little too late for the Bears' offense. Only one timeout left. They need a miracle. Shotgun set. Tyler Rocky in at halfback. Davis to throw it. Looking deep, pressured, and he is hit as he throws it. That's incomplete. He's lucky that he got rid of it. So the clock would have been drained down to about 40 seconds by the time they got back to the line of scrimmage. Lamache in the zone at D end again for Cal Poly. Davis, throwing it right side, it's caught, Darren Van Baren is gone, touchdown Northern Colorado, the freshman explodes for 48 yard touchdown catch, the Bears could still get back in this game guys, they got a timeout, they got to get this onside kick though, coming up, this could get very very interesting. I mean if anything they made it a really close game in the end. been looking for Van Baren all game long. Extra point is up and good. It's a six point ball game and it all comes down to this guys. An onside kick attempt from their star kicker Johnny Ligurski. What a ball game this has been. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I sure as hell have. It's been great. Bears making it really interesting late in the game. Ligurski for the onside kick. And they kick it right to him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. So Cal Poly is going to walk out of here with the dub. And their national championship hopes are still alive. This is going to be the Bears' third loss on the season. 
and their third conference loss of the season as well. This has definitely been a Klein Classic for sure. If you're not in the Discord, get on in there. Jay Washington posts the Klein Classic every weekend. Well, this is a great game. Garen on to take a knee and let this clock run out. Congratulations to the Cal Poly Mustangs. DeAndre Garen gets his second career victory as the starting quarterback for Cal Poly. It wasn't the prettiest game, but they got the job done. In the shotgun set here. Not sure what's happening. They're going to go off tackle, and Lozano. Oh my goodness, that was really dangerous. What if he fumbled right there and the Bears recovered it? But well, that's going to do it, folks. Cal Poly gets the dub 20-14 to over the Northern Colorado Bears, who might drop out of the top 25 with this loss. Cal Poly, they will remain in the top 10, of course. They will most likely move up to number 4 with the Dayton Flyers' loss to Western Illinois and Ball State losing to Rhode Island this week. Howard Bresnigel, what a game from him, though, at receiver for the Bears. Probably his best game in his career. All right, let's take a look at these stats, guys. Not a whole lot of offense. The computer games are definitely a little bit more defensive uh, than the other games, for sure. Cal okay, Poly was sacked four times. Bears defense has been so much improved. Only allowing 156 yards of offense. That's crazy. But five turnovers, that, that cost them. He had three fumbles and two interceptions. I mean, you, you can't do that, especially one of them was a pick six. That's just rough. Time possession, pretty much dead even. Seven punts for the Mustangs. Feels bad for Northern Colorado. I mean, they, they had so many opportunities. Their offense just couldn't get it going. They couldn't do enough in the end to get back into it and, and win it. But made it a six-point game at the end. Stats, one of two. Touchdown and a pick. Aiden Davis, 136 yards, one touchdown and a pick. 64 yards rushing for Gavin Brady. Just insane. What a run by the fullback. Rivers with 41 yards. And we didn't even see um, Darius Mitchell get a carry on offense. Two fumbles for Davis, one for Rocky. Bresden Gale, seven catches, 94 yards and a touchdown. Darren Van Baren, one catch, 48 yards and a touchdown. They wish... They would have thrown him the ball uh, early and often. They probably would have ended up winning this game. 14 pancakes for Will Jefferson. And 8 for Mike Heath. He was going up against um, Demarius Lamache too. So that's, that's a tough matchup. And he won that one for sure. Hernandez, he was going up against Greg Ford and Paxton Erdley in the interior. He did really well. 4 pancakes, no sacks allowed. Tech Dara tracks with 7 tackles. Cooper with 5. Deacon Cooper, that is. Bully Cooper, only two tackles. All right, bunch of tackles for a loss. Four sacks for the defense. No interceptions. Bunch of pass deflections. Ligurski, no field goals. Two for two extra points. Three kickoffs, one touchback. He also had three punts, 110 yards, one inside the 20 couple of good kick returns for the Bears. And a 42-yard punt return for Tyler Rocky. DeAndre Guerin, 11 of 21, 128 yards, one touchdown, and no picks. Pretty efficient. Not the best completion percentage, but he didn't turn the ball over. Lozano, 43 yards. Allen with 11. That's the fullback for the Mustangs. Desmond Lewis, 57 yards. Malik Higgins, 51. Tyler Chandler, one catch, three yards, and a touchdown. I think, like, all of his catches in his career are touchdowns. It's kind of crazy. Two drops for Tom Schaefer. Feels bad. Malik Higgins has a drop. Sean Horton, non-subscriber right tackle with 20 pancakes. Wow. Left tackle allowed two sacks, though. Dan Williamson, 15 pancakes, no sacks allowed. One of the best offensive linemen in the country. 
Lozano, seven tackles. Washington had four, one for a loss. William, four tackles, two for a loss. Lamache, three, two for a loss. And Paxton Early, no tackles for him. Greg Ford, no tackles for him as well. Bunch of tackles for loss for the defense. No sacks, two picks. One was a touchdown. One was in the end zone to save a touchdown. Three forced fumbles. Lamache, Washington, and Jones. Two recovered for Greg Ford. One for Tom Schaefer. The long snapper. Alexander, two for two field goals. Seven punts. One inside the 20. Long of 55 for John Mason. And that, my friends, will do it for Cal Poly hosting the Northern Colorado Bears. The Bears now 5-3 and three on the season. Mustangs 7-1 and one on the year. Great performance. Bresnagel, Simpson, Van Barron, players of the game for the Bears. Patterson, Ford, and Barnes, players of the game for the Cal Poly Mustangs. Our next game. Give me about, I don't know, about a half hour. I got to put a pizza in the oven and go eat that. And then we'll have the South Dakota State Jackrabbits, number 12 team in the land, traveling to take on Big 12 foe, Tennessee Tech, the Golden Eagles. The Jackrabbits are 5-2 and two on the season. The Golden Eagles are 5-2 and two on the season. The Big 12 is up for grabs right now. I mean, VMI, they're going to win their division, but it's going to be a race to see who's going to be facing them in the Big 12 championship game. I can't wait for that one. So, should be good. But that is it for this stream, guys. Slap the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you're new. And join our beautiful Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason in this here series for one of our 12 schools. But until the next stream, guys, take it easy.